Today we will talk about some sequence and their summation. So a sequence is a function from a subset of the set integer to the, the set A. So we call A n a term of the sequence. So uh, for example, we have the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, etc. Uh, this uh, we have a infinite second. Uh, but for the second finite, we have uh, here a1, a2, a3, a4. This here we can index by a0, a1, a2, a3. So begin index can 0 or 1. So the term of a second can be uh, specified by two ways we provide a formula for each term of the secret or we can use a recurrent relation to describe a second for one we have a n equal to one deep n for n is one so we have a one one two we have a two equal a half so this is the formula to describe the our secret the second way we can use a recurrent relation f0 0, zero f1 1 fn equal to fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2 so this is f0 this is f1 so we can add them to the a2 if we add one by one we have two if we add three and five we have eight 3 is F4, 5 is F5. Uh, so the recurrent relation is implicit. It means that we provide one or more initial term together with the rule for determining subsequent term for those that precede them. We can convert the recurrent relation to a formula. So we will talk about this later. An uh, arithmetic progression is a sequence of the form. A, so the second A is plus G, and the next A plus 2 times D, A plus N times D. We let A 5 and D is 2. So we are going to find the first 5 term of A N. So uh, we have a 5 and then plus G, D is 2. Uh, so we have a 7 plus 2. So we have 9, 11, 32. 1 of 2. This is 2 times of 2. In the last, 5 plus 4 times of 2. And we need to find A and D for the second. So uh, for the definition, we have here A. And then A plus D is 4. Therefore, G is 4 minus A. Because A is 7, so we have the difference is negative 3. So we try to check a and D for the next term. So for the next, if we add D in the previous, so we have 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Minus 3, we have negative 2, and so on. A geometric uh, progression is a sequence of the form. We say the ratio of R. So at the n term, we multiply by R n term. So, try to define the first high term of the geometric progression with A. The first term is 4 and the ratio is 3. The first is 4, the second is 4, multiple 3. And then 4, 3, 3, 5, we have a 4, multiple, the ratio power of 4. Second question, I have to find A and R. And here is the second. So, the first term is A. Here we have the equation t times of r equal to the second term. So we can conclude r equal to a half. We have g per 4. This is the next term. You can check a and r to the last term. So if we multiply this term by negative 1, so we have 1. We just change the sign by multiplying with the ratio of negative 1. Can you show me the implicit 
if n is uh, zero, we have uh, the first term. So if n is one, we have a negative one. If n is two, we have a negative one power of two, one. n is three, we have negative one power of three, we have negative one. We can write here b n. So this is c n. And this is a geometric progression with a of two and the ratio is 5 because high uh, multiple 5 we have 10 10 multiple 5 we have uh, 50 and so on okay. if n is 0 we have uh, the 1 and the first term is 12 if n is e 1 so we have 5 multiple 2 we have 10 gn equal to simply the first term so multiple r, the ratio is 1 per 3. So this is 1 per 3 power of n. We have some notation to represent the summation of the addition. We can extract the sub am plus am plus 1 and so on and an. This notation, uh, this notation, uh, this notation. If we have a range A of integer starting the index M, so in uh, computer programming, we can use a lot for I and begin M up to include in N. We can assign the sum is zero and it's that sum equal to sum plus A I. You can see here there are some useful summation formula. The first one we have the summation of an uh, integer uh, from 1 to n. Plus. So uh, the summation is n multiple n plus 1 divided 2. So we can make a pair of the second pair and the third pair. So this is the last pair. So we have 1 plus 50. We have 2 plus T8 is 50. And then so on, we have the last pair, 24, 26. So we have the sum 50 multiplied 24 because n is 49. So this is n plus 1. n divided 2. The second is the sum of a square. For the summation of the field. We can use this summation We square each of them. The last is the summation of a geometric progression. So we want to find the sum of the second a or power of k, the k from 0 up to n. We multiply two sign by r, so we have a r j. We multiply r. So we can write this here. The summation k. So this is k. R s equal to s plus um, l n. So we can uh, conclude S equal to A or N plus 1 minus A divided R. We have uh, the summation in the case R a different one. So if R is 1, we have uh, N plus 1 triple A. We can use the table to, uh, to compute the sum of some secret here. This one, K start 50. So we, we can start uh, 0 minus the summation the 0 to uh, 49. Now what is the sum of this second uh, from 0 to 100? Here. So uh, this, we have 100, 100 plus 1, 2, 100 plus 1, 2 minus 6. The first summation. Here we minus 49, 50, 2, 49, plus 1. That's it. The solution here.
for the second one. So uh, this is one, two, four, eight. Multiply ten. This is the summation of two, two power of two, two power of three, two power of six. We have uh, here ten. The summation two power of k. K is zero to say so we get the solution ten multi two power of c plus one minus because a is one so a and then we divide one so we can use like the summation of geometric progression r e two the third one arithmetic progression five six seven eight so on one hundred. One, two, one hundred minus one plus two plus three plus four. So here we have the sum. So uh, this is we convert the summation which we want to compute to the sum key secret for the next one. The log minus two, and we have one, we have um, four, nine, forty nine. The summation is equal to seven, eight, two times of seven plus one, divide six. And then we have two plus seven double time. So this is the solution. So I'll try to uh, compute the last measure here. Yeah. Maybe one, maybe eight. We plus three. We plus three. If we plus three for eight times, we have twenty-seven, sixty-four, one hundred and twenty-five. Here we can use the deep basic summation. So I can write here one eight sixty-four. One power of three, two power of three, and uh, five power of three. So we want to pure this summation in the table so that the summation is equal to five square and six square and divide four. Uh, and here we are uh, plus three, one, two, three, four, five, five times. So here we have to minus five times of three so this is the solution try to practice some exercise in the textbook uh, in previous we talked about the sign the opposite we say that a and b have the same cardinality it means we have a one to one correspondent from a to b if the sign of a is n then we conclude that the cardinality of B is N. This is the important theorem about the cardinality of the set. A set is either finite or infinite. We have two kinds of set. The first is a countable set, and the second is an uncountable set. A set that is finite or has the same cardinality as the set of positive integer, yeah, we can say that the set is countable. So uh, the set of natural number is countable. This set of on integer is countable or not. No. We want to find the projective from n to z. We have here negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, and so on. Now this is z. We can count as follow. Here we assign natural zero. Here the natural number one. Here we assign by two, and here by three. Here by four, and so on. This is a one to one correspondent from the z to n. The last one we want to count the set of on ratio number. We want to, to show that Q is countable. We need to find out one to one correspondent from N to Q. 
0, 1, 1 divided 2, 1 divided 3, 1 divided 6, and etc. to infinite. We cannot count in this way. Then 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 6. We cannot continue in this way. So here, etc. Okay, this is the Q. Because I have uh, some duplication in the diagonal. We can stop here and then we uh, come to one. We turn right. So we have uh, a half. Then we uh, back to the first column. So we have a two and then we, uh, we come down and we have a three. Then we keep moving this way. And then next to a quarter, we back a little. So we move in the direction. By this way, we can avoid the infinite. It is the one to one correspondent from N to Q. We can conclude that Q is countable. So this is zero, it is one, this is two, three, four, five. So not five because uh, this is a duplication. This is five, it is said and etc. In itself, this is the way to index. You can see here, A, B, C, D. After this, we have A, 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 B, A, C, A, D, A, Z. Uh, the next, B, A, B, 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 C, B, D. This is the good way to count the set of cells in itself. A, 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 four times. A, a, a five time. So if we uh, continue in this way, we can uh, meet the infinite. This is the back way to count the set of arm string over the alphabet letter.